Baseball season's right around the corner and leagues all over the world are looking for new coaches. So if your child's team is looking, you might get asked to coach even though you have no experience or maybe you've never even played before. So don't worry, we have five tips for new baseball coaches, so make sure to stick around. What's going on guys, welcome back to Northern Baseball Training. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below for drills, tips, workouts, and other videos that are gonna help you achieve your goals as a player and as a coach. And make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. If you volunteered to coach your son or daughter's baseball or softball team this year, but you have no experience in playing or coaching, don't worry, we're here to help you out. Or even if you've coached before, this video might help to remind you some of the things you may have forgotten along the way. Most of these tips are for first time coaches, but some of these tips apply to every level of baseball or every level of sport for that matter. So let's get into the first tip. Tip number one is let the players try every position. Your instincts might tell you to put the best kid at shortstop, the tallest kid at first base, the fastest kid in center field, and the worst player in right field. But that's not gonna help anybody. You wanna let the players try every position so they can find out what they really love. And so they can get better and develop as players because that's our job as coaches, is to help them develop as players. And sticking the worst kid in right field isn't gonna help them as a player. Some kids are already naturally talented and some kids need a little work to develop their skills. Tip number two is do what's best for the players, the team, and their overall growth as people, teammates, and players in that order. Yes, winning is awesome, and we wanna win every game, but when it comes to youth sports, especially with the younger ones, that's not the ultimate goal. Our goal as coaches is to develop these kids as players, teammates, and most of all, good people. We can't reward bad behavior just because the kid who's behaving that way is the best player on the team, and you wanna keep him in because you wanna win. If he's throwing temper tantrums or throwing his equipment when he strikes out, or calling out other players and you leave them in the game because you want to win that's definitely not good for the team it's not going to help them grow as a player and it's definitely not going to help the team win tip number three is be a role model as much as you probably didn't sign up to be a role model these kids are looking up to you so you have to be careful on how you act the kids feed off your energy and it might not only affect the way they play or act on the field it could also spill on the way they act at home or at school and that goes for every little thing that you do okay the way you carry yourself the way you talk to the umpires the way you talk to the other coaches the way you talk to the players and their parents, the way you act when they fail, and the way you act when they succeed. Okay, our goal is to lead by example. Tip number four is keep it simple. When it comes to practice, don't go looking for complicated drills. I've seen so many parents and coaches look up on YouTube and find the most complicated drills when the kids can barely even hold a bat or throw a baseball. Simplify everything and stick to basic fundamentals when it comes to drills. We have a lot of videos on this channel that'll help you out and I'll link our five beginning hitting drills above for you. Tip number five isn't really a tip, but I just wanna let you know that baseball is hard. It's a very difficult sport and it's built on failure. So much so that the best players in the world are failing 70% of the time. Kids are gonna get out and they're gonna get out a lot, but it's our job as coaches to help them focus on the positives and learn from their failures to help them grow and develop as players. Make sure to check the description box below. I'm gonna link all of our beginner focus drills so you can use them at our next practice. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next week.